Hello traders welcome back to the channel this is Umar with you hope you are all doing great and markets were super volatile right uh, we'll talk about that but uh, this is uh, supposed to happen right you know that we are not even though we are in uh, India we follow uh, US market and in terms of US market what happened US market is that uh, US futures were deep in the red if you are following US market today morning US futures were deep in the red once Europe opened uh, to just give you a perspective, Dow Jones, uh, Dow future was down by more than 100 points in the first half of today's trading session and in the second half it was trading almost uh, maybe, uh, it was in the red but it was trading around 50 or negative 50 or 40 points and this recovery, 50% recovery in Dow futures in terms of uh, percentage I am saying, uh, today uh, today's uh, volume, uh, today's uh, price action I am saying. Uh, so this uh, reacted, you, you know what happened, this reacted uh, opposite contra and uh, people had to run for cover and uh, just to give you an ex example, uh, today was uh, Fin Nifty expiry and if you see the Fin Nifty chart, let me go to the Fin Nifty chart and uh, let me, yeah this is the 5 minutes, uh, uh, this is the 5 minutes uh, Nifty chart right. And uh, people were, uh, if you had uh, traded 19, uh, sorry, Fin Nifty expiry, 19,400 had a huge volume. In fact, it had 25 million open interest uh, contracts which were uh, uh, outstanding in 19,400. And you know how much it was trading for? Let me give you a perspective so that you can understand. 19,400, it ended in the money, right? Deep in the money. I'm talking about call option, 19,400 call option. Uh, it went from around, uh, see, around 12 rupees, less than 9, 10 rupees it was trading. It has gone from 10 rupees to 160 rupees. So much was the volatility. You will not imagine it was very hard. It was very tough. And uh, this is the market. This is the real scenario of the market. And uh, even in yesterday's video, I told even if there is negative news, markets are not likely to come on the downside. See, uh, you are in a market where everyone uh, wants to uh, go long in the market. Every every Tom, Dick and Harry in this uh, market wants to go on the higher side. And even if they see a small dip, they will buy the market market and immediately people started trolling whatever uh, looking at the uh, yesterday one guy has uh, put a comment uh, whatever you are saying we have to go opposite direction uh, really end of the day I am making money brother what about you that is the main concern here whether I am right or whether I am wrong I have been making money for almost 10 years right that is not an issue whether you are making why are you coming and wasting your time in the comment session i am not going to answer your comment session in fact i even don't know how to open youtube studio it is not me who is handling this youtube things right anyway that is a whole different uh, thing and don't think i am arrogant guy i am speaking like uh, you know Uncle G, no I am not speaking like Uncle G, I am just uh, telling you people, instead of coming and uh, commenting nonsense in the comment session, why don't you focus on uh, trading, what is wrong, how you can uh, escalate your trading skills, you focus on those things, no, right? What is the use of uh, poking, uh, poking other, uh, uh, other people, right? It's of no use, right? So anyway, that's a whole different thing. We'll come back to the market. Uh, let me go to the Nifty and uh, Bank Nifty chart and let me change this to a uh, uh, daily time frame so that you get an idea of what is happening, right? Now, you know that uh, Nifty, when it comes to Nifty, 19,000 is a super strong resistance, right? So, uh, sorry, super strong uh, support. And in fact, if you see today's chart, Nifty came almost to 19,300. Low, uh, low was around uh, 19,329 but it never went below 19,300. So you can assume 19,300 is a very very strong support and we are likely to go on the higher side. No matter what happens we are likely to go on the down, uh, higher side. We may gap down for one or other reason. So let's say there is some negative news or let's say there is positive news, let's say if there is some negative news, we may gap down, but every gap down is an opportunity for bulls or it is an opportunity for retailers to buy this market and I'm sure they will take the market on the higher side 
and uh, let me tell you one more thing this is deepavali season we are having only two or three days more for deepavali uh, and you know deepavali is always a emotional thing and people will try to go along in this market and uh, sentimentally they will try to go along in the market so that's why i posted in yesterday's video don't try to go short this market right so let's see what is happening uh, in terms of bank nifty bank nifty also i am sure uh, it is holding on to this 43600 or 43500 level 43500 is a very very strong support and today's the low was around 43,283 uh, and in fact it has closed above 43,500 which was a good resistance and we might inch up, we might go till 44,000 or even above 44,000 or 44,500, right? So this is how the markets are. I'm not going to short the market. I will be long in this market. And uh, I think you also should be long in the market. And uh, as far as US futures are concerned, uh, Dow Jones, S&P, NASDAQ, everything is kind of red, but uh, not, uh, not deep in the red. Uh, we'll have to wait for US markets to open. And there is a very, very important data when it comes to US market. Tomorrow, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell is going to give a speech uh, at around 7.45 p.m. India time. So you will have to focus on that. Uh, you will have to see what he is saying, what is going to be the outcome. Uh, everything is going to be uh, told by Jerome Powell. And uh, as far as uh, other things are concerned, whether it is open interest or whether it is uh, FID data, these data are lagging data. Uh, you don't have to uh, uh, spend time in these things. Because uh, what I will tell you is that, uh, see, FIA, uh, whether FIAs are shorting the market or lo going long in the market, you will not, n you are not going to know at the market hours, right? It is going to be after market hours, right? So what is the use of uh, telling FIAs have net uh, sell figure, they have 80% uh, short, they are 60% short or 20% long in the market. It is, uh, see, I have been saying this, right? I have been, uh, I have been saying this for a very long time, but otherwise I thought, what is the use of uh, seeing at this data when it is a uh, lagging indicator, right? It is a EOD data or end of the day data. What is going to be the use of uh, seeing at this data, right? So I just uh, try to skip on that. All you have to know is how to uh, make use of price action. That is the main thing which is going to help you. And in terms of uh, our PNL, we made a profit of around 7,948 uh, today. So today was a very tough day. We made a two-way, three-way move in the market. In spite of that, we were able to close in the green, right? Uh, so we'll see how uh, things pan out. As of now, I'm not going to... Uh, short this market uh, even if there is any dip or even there is any even tomorrow uh, let's say if uh, hypothetically speaking if there is any dip in the market for one or other reason let's say europe us markets are closing in the red uh, maybe uh, we will gap down but we will eventually go on the higher side whether it is nifty or whether it is bank nifty and i can tell you it is not going to happen anytime soon Nifty is not going to come below 19,300 and uh, Bank Nifty is not going to come below 43,500 and if you are trading Sensex and other things, uh, uh, it is not of uh, much significant. Uh, Nifty uh, and Bank Nifty is very, very important. So you focus on that. Uh, that is more than enough, right? I hope I have summarized everything. Don't short this market. Again, I'm saying go long, uh, try to be long in this market. Uh, we'll see how things pan out uh, span out tomorrow uh, thank you for watching take care bye